Hey guys, t here. Today I got a game in the hood for a British Battleship Tier 6. Cunningham on the screen here. Uh, I'm going to start talking more and more about ship roles, uh, order of importance, target selections. These topics we covered a lot in the early days of the game release, but we have a huge new crop of players that are coming out or joining the game lately. I know that because I can see them in the game itself and I got a lot of them commenting on my videos or telling me on the Discord or whatever that they're new and they're learning. So we need to get back to some of the basics I think and kind of figuring out what each class of ship is trying to do is a big part of that. Now I picked this game deliberately because it's not a massive damage game. It's not a low damage game by any means, but it's not a massive damage game. And a lot of times on YouTube, either my channel or other channels, kind of the high damage games get emphasized a little bit. This is an extremely effective game though, and it's because of what we're doing with our role. Uh, so we'll talk a lot about that here. Initially I was going to go support the wing on C just because of the composition over there. But I noticed we do have a destroyer here who's going to contest the cap, and he's going to be in position to scout. So I decided to kind of get behind this island, potentially use that as cover, or if not, support this destroyer. But a lot of what we're seeing these days, and it's it's always going to be there. It's always it's never going to go away. But it's not good. Basically, everyone on the team wants to fight the enemy's battleships for the entirety of the game. Battleships are the least valuable piece on the enemy team. We need to start visualizing uh, the ships on the enemy team as kind of like chess pieces or different uh, you know, pieces in a strategic game. This is a strategy game. This is not an action game. Yeah, it's got some first person shooter elements in that you actually have to aim the shots. And uh, you'll see in this game my aim isn't necessarily all that great. Uh, we want to be dueling this Atlanta here on the left. And this guy does an excellent job playing with the throttle, changing direction. Extremely frustrating to shoot at. Atlanta's not normally a ship that you'd want to play in the open water, but this guy manages to survive four or five salvos maybe for me before we're finally able to bring him down. So very frustrating and good job from him. But getting back to what we're talking about here, you know, rather than destroyers trying to sneak through the back line to torp battleships that are way in the back doing nothing, not affecting the outcome of the game. They need to be spotting, they need to be contesting cabs, they need to be dealing with the enemy destroyers. Those are the important things for them to be doing. Cruisers, if you got an opportunity to kill the enemy destroyers, which are kind of the most valuable pieces, the keys to winning the game for the enemy team, that's what you need to be doing. Not sitting here in the open like my Atlanta's doing here, trying to start a fire on a Nelson. A Nelson has probably the best heal in the game. He can burn them all the way down from 70,000 health to zero, and the Nelson can heal it all back in the matter of four seconds. So he is literally doing the least effective thing in the entire possible <laughs> uh, universe of options. You know, Not to pick on this guy, but I just want to point out learning opportunities. You see this all the time. Cruisers, all we're doing is HE spamming battleships, battleships, battleships. That's an option, but you want to be doing that later in the game. The cruisers have high DPM damage per minute. They have much more damage output than battleships, but what you need to do is remove the destroyers so they're not spotting your team. Then you can get behind island cover, fire for free. Then you can burn those battleships down to a crisp and that'll be the end of the game because you'll have won effectively. Here, I'm in a battleship. What am I doing? My main goal here is to push forward, create crossfires. Now I'm in the center position, so I kind of have a little bit more of an anchor here. But if I'm on the wings, my goals are to kill my flank and then push forward and then starting start shooting the enemy in the sides. How do I do that? Do I shoot salvo after salvo after salvo? after angled John Bart sitting in the back who are completely useless. No, this is the first shot I believe that we've taken at a battleship and we're almost a third of the way in the game. Every sh the enemy team in this game has two cruisers. I think all my shots up to this point have been at those cruisers. 
They haven't been the best shots necessarily, and the enemy's been doing a good job dodging them as well. So the cruisers live. But I'm not getting frustrated. I'm trying to stick with my role here. Uh, here we kind of abandon that just because the Nelson's getting low enough that if I can remove these guns, it would be nice. But he is well angled. Uh, so we're testing out our guns versus his armor scheme. Since this isn't a combo of ship that I've dealt with, or I haven't fought as a hood against a Nelson too often. So you want to test these combos. But as an overall philosophy, getting rid of the cruisers, which I can do in one salvo, you know it as a Hegon. That's my role. Because the cruisers can kill my destroyers, who are the most valuable piece for me. When my destroyers are dead, I lose my eyes and ears. Now I have a hard time dealing with enemy cruisers who are going to start hiding behind islands. Then they'll kick the crap out of me. Atlanta over here was doing a very, very good job early in the game. Uh, being extremely elusive. I don't know. He, he got impatient. It happens to the best of us. You know, We kind of lose our cool and... You know, stop sticking with the plan and go all Leroy Jenkins on the bit. But he pulls forward here, and the results are predictable. What's the results? He gone! And that's what I'm here to do as a battleship. I'm put on the planet to kill the enemy cruisers. The enemy cruisers are put on the planet to kill the enemy destroyers. And the enemy destroyers are there to keep you lit the entire game. So everyone on their team can kill you and all your friends. And they can contest the caps. And the last thing they need to be doing is getting to the back line and torping the worthless battleships. Pensacola, what's up, my boy? Here go! So, in the span of two salvos, we went from having a pretty, you know, not that effective game to we've done our duty. We've killed all the cruisers. The other players on my team have killed all the destroyers. Now we have... Four battleships who are boned. What you do not want as a battleship player is to be facing off against the enemy battleships plus the enemy cruisers plus the enemy destroyers. If I got a battleship versus battleship fight, it's on me. You know, I feel like I can win pretty much all of those as long as I play it well. If I'm in a battleship, and I got a destroyer spotted me in an unloading location, and there's a cruiser behind an island bombing on me at the same time. Not gonna win that fight more than maybe one out of ten times, you know, unless the enemy team's just completely negligent or foolish or whatever. So, we need to understand the flow of the game. The first order of business is to kill the destroyers if whenever possible. If we're not able to do that, then we need to kill the cruisers. Especially the radar cruisers, which with rank season 6 coming up, we're finally going to see some a fair amount of radars in there. Killing the radar cruisers is the top priority in that situation because they're the biggest threat to your team's DDs. The DDs are the eyes and the ears of your team. If they die, you die. You're going to lose the game here. So, I see it all the time. People will post it online. Oh, I got a 200k damage game and our team lost. And I always want to ask them, what did you do to win? Did you just sit there harassing uh, ships in the back that were doing nothing? Or were you killing the important pieces on the team, the foundation of the ability of the enemy's team to win the game? If you remove the destroyers, you remove the cruisers, battleships versus multiple classes are extremely ineffective. They need destroyers. And if they can have cruiser support as well, that's a major advantage. So we need to stop focusing on, you know, just killing the most worthless players. If John Bart wants to kick it in reverse and play from the back line, let him. Leave him alone. He's worthless. Just, it's very easy to do. Just think for yourself. Let's say you're in a situation where you're a destroyer and you're fighting another destroyer. Who would you rather have on your team as a cruiser player? The guy that's against a battleship that's angled against him doing 500 damage and maybe causing a fire every 30 seconds? Or the guy that's actually paying attention to the game, sees the destroyer, shoots a salvo or two at him, and then helps you survive? You know, that play alone usually will win the game when you can remove a destroyer with good teamwork there. But it happens all the time. You're like, all right, I'm calling for help. I'm in a situation where all I need is one salvo from a cruiser. 
look around and the guys duck a ducking the you know the well angled battleship in the back for minimal damage. Worthless. Horrible cruiser play. Same thing with battleships. I got situations all the time where I move forward as a destroyer. I spot the battleships, I spot the cruisers. Looking for that juicy spotting damage. What do I spot? I spot an angled John Bart that's going backwards, or next to him is a Shores who happens to be broadside. What do my teammates shoot at? Nine out of ten times. John Bart. That when that happens and I'm a destroyer, I normally abandon that flank because the people I'm spotting for are not going to be using that information properly. So I'm going to go look for teammates that know what they're doing. So we just need to work on figuring out what wins the games. That's what I'm always talking about on this channel, winning the games. If you can get a high damage game while you're doing things that cause your team to win, great. That's an awesome game. Fun game to play. But if that's all you're trying to do, rack up damage, 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 you're not focused on the strategy part of the game. You're focused on the action part of the game, which is the minor part of the game. You want to focus on the strategy first. So anyway, that's a look at the hood and a talk about some strategy there. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. There's a lot of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. I do love to hear from you guys. And we'll see you all later. All right, peace.